Well, here's a neat little handheld that was released by My Arcade. It's a Walmart exclusive. It's the Pac-Man Portable Player. Uh, the Walmart I bought this at, they were selling for $27.84 or something like that. I have seen people post they've been finding them cheaper than that. Uh, I don't know why Walmart is charging $27.84 if people are finding for like $24.99 or, or things like that at, at other Walmarts. have no idea. I haven't seen any pictures of different prices as people saying that they're finding it cheaper. So I'm going to go with the $27.84 that I saw it for until someone posts a picture showing the lower price. So I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about this little Pac-Man portable player from my arcade. It comes with three games. We have Pac-Man, Pac-Panic, and Pac-Mania. Three of my favorite Pac-Man type games all in one unit. Now I've been playing around with this and one of the things I've noticed and other people's commented to me when I posted that I found this on my Facebook page is that Pac-Man is most likely a rewrite of the arcade ROM. And it does look like the arcade ROM. It plays a little bit differently. I did a comparison side by side and when you go at the start screen of course it shows uh, copyright 1980 BNEI at the bottom of the screen on this and then on the other uh, Pac-Man arcade game I have on my emulator it says Pac-Man 1980 Midway games, all that good stuff. And the ghosts move a little bit differently at the very first screen. I just booted it up started the game on each system and then watch how the ghosts move. They do move a little bit differently. So it is. It does look like the arcade version, though. It's not the. It's not the NES version. I love the packaging that my arcade did with this. They do a very good job of their packaging. I got to give them credit for that. It's very attractive, not colorful, and you actually want to keep the packaging because it's so nice. And one of the things I like about this packaging is it has this fold-up flap that allows you to see the game unit itself with a simulated picture of the Pac-Man game on it. And it shows pictures of the other three games included. So this looks like the Sega Genesis version of Pac-Mania, Sega Genesis version of Pac-Attack. Pac-Panic is what they call it, but it's Pac-Attack, I believe, on the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis, if I remember correctly. Pretty cool. Plus, when you fold the flap back, it has a little magnet inside to make sure it stays sealed. That's nice. So this will look really good set up on the shelf when you're not playing it. kind of like it. Of course, on the back, it has a, a larger view of the game unit. And this is kind of like a raised picture. You can feel it. It's actually raised up off the back. That's pretty neat. That's some, that's some really cool packaging that they've done on this. I'm very impressed with that. So let's open up the box. Which end did I open? This end. There we go. And we'll slide our little Pac-Man player out. Oh, there you are. Here's the instruction manual. It is really thick, but that's only because it's multilingual. You have Portuguese in here. You got Italian in here. So that's kind of neat. They've uh, they put a multilingual uh, manual in here. And it's very basic. It goes over the controls, how to put the batteries in, all that good stuff. So we take it out of its protective shell. Uh -oh. Well, it's got a nice little wrist strap here. So you put on your, hold it on your wrist so I don't drop it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I will probably take that off because I don't really care for it. And on the back you have your batteries. It runs on four AAA batteries. You got two go on this side over here like so. And then the other two go over on this side. Just like that. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the battery compartment on the, what is that, the Sega Game Gear? Kind of reminds me of that. Kind of neat. It's got some nice little grippy things on the back here for when you're holding on to the game. It's got some nice weight to it. I mean, the, the actual packaging of the game is pretty nice. You have your headphone jack. You use stereo headphones on this. You have a little micro USB. That you can power it if you're not going to use the batteries. It's not rechargeable. It has to have batteries in it. You got your volume control, which is a clicky up and down, and your on-off button over here. Of course, you got your A and B buttons. You have your reset button, and you have your start button. Speaker right there, 
and you have your D-pad, which appears to be an eight-way D-pad. So let's try the games out on this real quick. All right, let's turn it on. My arcade pocket player. Oh, there we go. Got your main selection screen. Pac-Man, Pac-Mania, and Pac-Panic. Awesome. Use the D-pad to select which game you want to play. So, of course, we're going to start with Pac-Man, because that's the main game for this little unit here. Hit the start button. So here is the intro. You can see it looks like the arcade ROM. It's just a little bit different, especially when it gets down to the credits down here, the copyright. Pac-Man, 1980 B-N-E-I. Banco, Bandai Namco Entertainment something. It's pretty cool looking. So you hit either the A or B button to coin up. Bloop. It is not very loud. I've got the sound turned all the way up on this. and it's, You can barely hear it probably on this... Uh, video. Hit start. And as you can tell, it sounds very tinny. Yeah, the sound isn't all that great. I tried plugging in some stereo headphones into this, and it pretty much sounded the same. I was hoping maybe it would improve the sound. It's, it's a little better, but not a whole lot. Now the D-pad control is really nice. I'm not having a bit of a problem with the D-pad. Zip around the maze. I am having a problem playing it through the viewfinder of my camera. <laughs> oh no! Leave me alone. I might be eating my dots in peace. Cool. Okay. Let's try a different game out. We'll hit the reset. Back to the menu. We'll try Pac Mania now. I love this game. It's a really fun game to play. Hit start. Mainly because you can actually jump over the ghosts and stuff. I kind of like it that Pac Man can bounce around. We'll just do this one here, the first one. <laughs> He's a bouncy Pac Man. Ugh. Yeah, this definitely shows how bad the sound is. Where are you? Chomp, chomp, chomp! Ha ha! Boing! 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 Ha ha ha! I love that! Boing! Arf! <laughs> Did it do? Boing! Oh! I boinged too far! Bloop, bloop. Awesome. Okay, we'll try the last game on here. Pack Panic. Which is a really fun puzzle type game like Tetris almost with Pac-Man. Love this game. Pack Panic. Do normal mode. We'll do easy. <laughs> Okay, so like in Tetris, you want to make lines across the screen. And once in a while you have ghosts that like to ride the screen down, which you can get rid of with your little Pac-Man guy here. Oh. Oh, 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 there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. I got to make sure I don't bury him so I can get a Pac-Man after him. There we go. Going, oh yeah, give me a Pac-Man. And arf, arf, arf. Yes! It's actually a really fun game. Oh, oh, get over there. Boop. Arf, arf. Oh man, I'll give me three ghosts. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. So there you go. 
The Pac-Man Pocket Player by My Arcade. Wow, say that fast a few times. Pac-Man Pocket Player. Pac-Man Pocket Player. <laughs> Get your tongue tied. Pretty awesome. Is it worth the $27.84? Well, to me it was because I love Pac-Man. Pretty much anything Pac-Man. And this has three of my favorite Pac-Man games all in one. And it's nice and portable. So it's a, it's a welcome addition to my collection. So I'm looking forward to hanging on to this and playing a few rounds while I'm sitting at the airport or flying on the plane or whatever. But probably a better price point for these probably would have been like $19.99 or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what cost to build these little bad boys. But it's still awful. It's still awesome cool. Awesome cool game. Pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching.